The Pope left the Vatican for a few hours to celebrate Mass at the North American College in Rome. With American seminarians seated in the pews, the Pope honored the life and legacy of Junipero Serra, the 18th century Spanish missionary who left it all behind to evangelize the Native Americans in present day California. Egli fu protagonista di una nuova primavera evangelizzatrice in quelle terre sconfinate dalla Florida sino alla California. He established the first mission in the city of San Diego. Through that same framework, another 20 missions were created in areas that would soon become major cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Sacramento. In addition to evangelizing the Catholic faith, the Pope said he protected the natives from the abuse of colonizers. And he did a lot more on a practical level as well. From aqueducts to a system of democracy, all of this came thanks to the missions in California. But his future canonization isn't free of controversy. Some Native American groups and tribes argue that the Spanish missionary evangelized through violence and aggression. The missions were, in, inevitably, they had, a, they had an aspect of force and coercion. It didn't seem to me that the missionaries were all that upfront with saying to people, OK, joining the missions is a one-way street, that you know, there is no exit from, from the missions, and that baptism is a lifetime commitment. But with this Mass, the Pope sent a clear message that he's not backing down. The Pope himself plans to canonize Serra on September 23rd during his visit to Washington, D.C. This is going to be the first time in the history of the Church in the United States that a saint will be canonized, will be raised to the, uh, to the altar, as we say, here in the United States. Even so, there are petitions to take down a statue of the Franciscan friar in Washington and replace it with that of a late astronaut. The Vatican says that would be a mistake.